Konnichiwa, hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video, welcome back to my channel. Today is uh, such a very hot day, the sun is scorching hot, today is uh, now, as I'm speaking, it's around 12 p.m. At the heart of Kyoto city, now in this video, I want to show you around the exterior part or the outside uh, segment of Tofokuji Jingu, Tofokuji Temple. This is one of the biggest and most famous and most well-known temples or shrines in Kyoto city. I'm just gonna make a very brief video. It won't, it won't be long. So I will just walk around and then show you the outside of Tofu Kuji Temple. Alright, let's go. Okay, I need to lower my voice. This is a public area. Okay, that's uh, uh, I presume I assume it's the main building. Now let's go to the real side of the temple. This building is really magnificent. I like the style, I like the design, the patterns, very very beautiful. Very traditional, obviously. So apparently, this is my uh, second uh, Jingu or shrine that I've visited during my visit and stay in Kyoto. The first one is the most famous one, which is uh, namely Fushimi Inari Shrine. Uh, Tofukuji, this is the second one. And I'm enjoying it. I like it a lot. So if you want to, uh, to actually get, go inside to the actual temple itself, there is an admission fee or, or an entrance fee, a ticket counter. So you, should, you, you must buy it first and then you are allowed to enter the temple. However, if you are like me, uh, because I'm in a rush, I, I, will not be, uh, I won't be going inside the temple building. So I will just spend a few minutes walking outside of the temple and just enjoying the exterior. And I think, yeah, this is more than enough. It's either 600 yen or 500 yen, or in between. Ah, looking structures like this makes me to to be, you know, feeling a little bit of reminiscent about Chinese architecture as well. Chinese and Japanese architecture uh, shares a lot of similarities. Because both China and Japan and also Korea and Vietnam and uh, sometimes also Mongolia, they are all East Asian countries located in, in East Asia. So culturally, they are very, very similar. Okay, let's continue walking. Okay, now there seems to be a renovation and refurbishment work on prog progress. That's good. It can help to preserve this entire estate. 
Ah, uh, look at that. It's really tall, well preserved, clean, and very big also. Okay, let's continue to walk again. And also, I like I would like to add uh, the plants in this area is very very clean and well kept. Okay, everyone. I think we have reached our final stop. Actually, uh, uh, everything that I did was just to walk around, you know, in circle. That's where I came from. And then I've made one single uh, round, or I circumnavigated the entire temple area. And now it's time to end this video. Dear friends and viewers, thank you so much. I would like to express my deepest gratitude. For you all who have watched this video from the beginning until now. Thank you so much. Uh, if you would like to support me, please don't forget to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And then don't forget to share this video. To all your friends and family who likes and are interested in Japanese history, Japanese culture. And about the nation of Japan per se. And then, please support me so, I, so this channel can grow and I can make more videos. Support me just by subscribing to my just by subscribing to my YouTube channel, and then hit turn on the notification bell button, and then don't forget to remain to stay tuned until I upload more new videos. So new videos are, are coming soon. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you so much. See you later. Peace, everyone.